Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and this episode I'm going to unbox Jagged Alliance, the board game. Uh, like if you like me, you remember in the 90s and early 2000s, and there were some later sequels. There was a video game series um, upon which this is based um, uh, about a team of mercenaries trying to free the island of Aruku, and um, uh, it's kind of a turn based game. Uh, XCOM, uh, yeah, I mean, XCOM kind of game, basically, where you're, uh, each of your characters is, you know, has certain action points and can go and do different things, and you try to to complete several missions. So, X Jagged Alliance. So, Jagged Alliance, the board game, attempts to bring that to your game table. So, this uh, kickstarted uh, is had a limited release in the U.S. Hopefully, they're going to get more of these out. It's a miniatures game, modular. Uh, campaign, uh, campaign game, uh, fully soloable. It's it's one to four players against the game. Designed by Marco Jelen and Jan Wagner. I am probably saying that right. I'm <laughs> I am probably saying that incorrect. It's very vain of me to assume I'm saying it right. But uh, anyway, it's a nice thick thick cardboard box here. So we're going to see if we can get this all, all on the camera here as we go through it. All right, so we're going to start out with a rule book. Jagged Alliance, the board game, and mercenary rule book. And it is 40 pages, full color. All right, that rule book's glossy. You can probably see the studio lights reflecting here on it. So there's a glossy rule book inside and out. All right, then we have a map of Aluko, double-sided map. So I'm not sure if this is just, we'll find out if this is uh, functional in the game or if it's just for reference, but there you go. Is it the same? There's all my base there. On the base, it looks like it's the same double-sided. Maybe so you can play two missions. Now, one thing that's interesting is it has a save game envelope that it gives you. This looks like a file folder. It's a very firm, cardboardy envelope. And so you can put the game away between missions in the campaign, uh, which is a nice touch that they give you. Um, uh, so you put all your cards and, you know, all your equipment and everything, and then your team is free to, to swap equipment. Uh, between missions, so it doesn't matter, you know, who, who has it in the envelope. You just bring it out and reassign it. And our scenario book. All right, so this also, assuming full color, yes, tells you how to set everything up. It's 16 pages, and we are going to have to, it doesn't have an index, Tells you how to set up scenarios and then scenario one through scenario 12. So you can play the campaign, all 12 scenarios, and you can reset and play with different mercenaries, um, different teams, different outcomes. So here we go. Ooh, we got some armor. That's pretty cool. So we'll go into the plastic here. All right, so we have six mercenary figures, which again, they've done that nice. Uh, keeping them different color. Here we've got the gray miniatures for the um, mercenaries and red uh, for the bad guys. We've got our fighters here. Oops. Coming down. And then we've got our, our mercenaries. So this, this woman here, she is sitting on a barrel, just nonchalant, and somehow she's going to have an anti-grab barrel that just kind of moves her around, I guess, when she's moving on the board. But So anyway, so we get uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6, 15, did I count wrong? Let's see, 6, 6, 12, 15, 15 miniatures, and a tank. Goodness gracious, and it's red, so it's the bad guy's tank. Ooh, 
All right, and then you get some colored bases here. Um, you know, the standard now to fit on the bottom of the different characters. Now they may denote status or because of the number, the way, the way it divides up, it looks like there's four different colors. So there's probably the mercenaries and the yellow ones. Who knows? All right, so they come in a tray, which will probably get chunked. So what else we got here? We've got a pack of cards here. These are related to the mission, I guess. The Shady Lady Brothel. Um, yeah, while this mission is active, defeated enemies never drop loot. Oversized cards with missions, locations, SAM site. Scenario ends with this mission slug. Like, so you can have missions in the midst of your scenarios is how it works. So mission, uh, missions can be active during, during a scenario. And there's some enemy cards. Those are the those are the missions. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen of those. And they are not marked, so you can draw them randomly. One would assume. And then we've got stat cards for the enemies, the tank. We've got the sniper, a shield, a red shirt which means he's going to die quick, and a blood cat, which is this vicious, vicious looking critter here that I can't get out of the plastic. Blood cat. All right. Let's see the minion cards. And then we get a bunch of cubes, black and red. All right. Then we have a threat deck here. We have Deandra Reitman. She is the evil dictator of Orkulko that you're trying to overthrow here. And uh, this is her status board. And then we have Felix Grundman, the Iron General. And he is not a good guy either. So these are two threats. We'll put those up there. A bunch of dice. And the rule book tells you they're obviously escalating in terms of which have the most uh, strength to them and which have the least if I can get the bag open all right so we got three three orange two red four blue and four yellow and they got a variety of successes on them stars upon Mars okay so it looks like red's pretty powerful orange is less so. We'll just go ahead and check it out real quick. So I remember seeing that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yellow, orange, red, and blue. blue. Blue is only used to hide from enemy attacks or to bribe officials. So red is mastery, orange dice is good skill, and yellow is basic. So we won't go back to the rule book too much here. I just want to know about the dice. So we have a t stack of double-sided terrain tiles, and these are going to be used to set up the missions, and they're marked in spaces and so on and so forth. So the board is very modular. Uh, I'm not sure how much randomization is done. How much randomization is done with the board, right? But then they'll. Uh, the tiles at least are numbered, which is very nice. Some games forget to do that. So 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B. So you put them together and create, you know, uh, your map. They just opened this. They just came out of the shrink. It was a loose shrink. So they are kind of bowed a little bit, but they will straighten out with a humidity change. So you get, uh, looks like 17 tiles, front and back, so 34 different sides. And then each scenario in the scenario book will tell you how to put those together. So that's pretty cool. All right, then we've got another tray in here. So the minis have a tray and then the components can sit in a tray. And then we're going to have punch board, but only two sheets and then a bunch of cards, including our, including our characters, our mercenaries. So two sheets of punch board, various symbols. 
Um, let me see status aim. Looks like we've got some extra tokens for some extra enemies, red shirts, snipers that we've already seen. Uh, very thick punch board. So that's nice, comes out pretty cleanly. Two sheets of that. And then we've got the character boards, which are not wrapped. So we have six mercenaries. Let's see who we got here. We have Cynthia Fox Guzman, who's dangerous, desirable, and devious, according to her own bio. Okay, and we've got these Scav Haran. Thank God the dead don't care how they look. The older tough guy here. Corvin Cosmos Looters. The pen is mightier than the sword. He's an intelligence officer. We have Rudy Lynx Roberts. This would be the perfect time for some luck. He's just a professional mercenary. Bobby Steroid Guntarski. Polish Pride and Pumped Up Resistance. He's a Slavic Hercules. Sheila Scope Sterling. Need someone to snap the last breath from an enemy? Night Ops. And Dr. Clifford, Cliff Highball, Hands of a Surgeon, the Guts of a Warrior. And then Fidel Dahan, usually mad about something. He's a crafting expert. So if you're counting along with me, you got eight of these boards, and we got six mercenary miniatures. So interesting how that works. Oh, let's, let's go for nine. In fact, because they were loose, let's go for even more. There's several more in here. 12 of these. No, we have 13 of these. Larry Roachburn, Ivan Dolvich, Corporal Lynn Anderson. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. Charlie Raven Higgins, Kyle Shadow Simmons. Okay, so we got a good sampling there of both genders so that's good uh, i like that they're all always different instead of just being flipped over play either character as either gender so that's that's always nice boys a lot of stuff in here a lot of heavy stuff and then we have some stacks of cards we have aim cards we're not going to open each of these we've got uh, event cards here it looks like there's actually different kinds of cards in here um you get three, four, excuse me, five some decks of many sized cards for various functions in the game. And then I'm going to rebox it here. You get 13 mercenary cards. We'll figure out how that all works. Very good, uh, very nice quality. Very thick, very thick boards. It's really nice, like three millimeter chipboard. Uh, you get your punch punch board and then we have a tray here where did the tray go so it's kind of cool here the tiles will go back into the tray I'm sure the dice will go there however you want to do it other stuff will go in here um, okay but you get bag of uh, cubes stack cards and mission cards a bunch of dice and how does this all go back together? Then the miniatures. There are again 15 uh, enemy miniatures, six mercenary miniatures, a tank, and some bands to go on the miniatures. And then you get two threat boards. Jack Alliance the board game rule book. Let's do this right here. Take that off. There we go. The Deandra and Felix there. Scenario book, save game envelope, map of Oruko, and a nice thick box too. So that is everything that's gonna come in Jagged Alliance, the board game from THQ Nordic and Underground Games. Thank you so much for watching. Pick up a copy if you can. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you.